morning, well actually it's nearly the afternoon, I have, um, well I had breakfast <laughs> and then I've been fiddling with the Christmas tree. It nearly fell over onto me. I've moved the lights around which I'm very slightly happier with but now there's like baubles all over the floor and um, it just looks a bit of a mess. I'm going to put some water in it and I'm going to have a play and I'm going to put him right because I'm not happy with it. I'm happier with the angle. I feel like it's not lopsided anymore. Um, but I moved it and then I had to catch it. I was like, whoa, it was like falling onto me. So we're going to have a play with that. And I've got some washing to put away. And then I am going to fill my candles. I shall show you. So these, so this had a candle in it, but it's empty and I've been putting tea lights in. Um, but I have some wax and I'll show you how I melt it down and make new candles and put a new wick in. It's really easy, anybody can do it and it's so much cheaper than having to continuously buy these and they last for a little bit longer as well. So um, yeah, fix a tree, I'm going to do this, have a general tidy up because the, it just feels like a little bit dusty and things. Put the washing away and then we'll see where we get to. Well, I fiddled with the Christmas tree as much as I possibly could and moved it around and to anybody else it probably <laughs> looks exactly the same. But at least I know that I tried. So, let me just move that ring because it's shining in my eyes. But, the postman has been. So, we, um, let me get comfy. We signed up for Craft Gin Club ages and ages and ages ago when it was on special offer for half price for your first two boxes or something so it was like 20 pounds and you get 40-ish pound bottle of gin in it and um, sometimes a little bit more but it has since gone up in price as everything has so um and before that i had changed it to quarterly instead of monthly because it's just too much and i think i'm going to cancel it now however it is a very good deal if you sign up and get the um the special offer and then you can cancel at any time and you're not obliged to actually I had cancelled and they sent me an email and they said if you sign back up with us uh, we'll send you an extra bottle of gin I think that's what I did and then I changed it to quarterly because it would have come for the Christmas box and I thought maybe the Christmas box would be good so let's have a look and see what is in it Ooh. We have an extra large bag of Tyrrell's Ready Salted Crisp, so not very exciting, something I can buy in the shops. And what's this? The OG g and Tea Maker. Hmm. Tea Bag Sampler. Hmm. Mint Melody Green Tea. Oh, I don't like green tea. Are they tea bags? Cookies and cream herbal tea, Earl Grey citrus green tea, and ginger chocolate herbal tea. Oh, it, I think it is. I think it's four actual tea bags. I don't think it's to go with a gin and tonic. Or is it? I have no idea. There is a magazine, so that might tell us. Worth a shot or four. Cheers, mate. Brew the perfect G and T tea. tea comma, E-A, comma, recipe or apostrophe. Sip, teep, steep, one, oh God, I've got apostrophes everywhere. Steep one tea bag in 200 ml of water for three to five minutes. Pour over 25 millilitres of gin. Top it up with lemon, orange zest, ice, ice baby. Oh, really? Tea and gin, Steve? tea and gin? Uh, uh, yes. Yes. Steve says yes. Okay, we'll try it. He'll try it. He'll be, to be on it. To be fair, he'll try anything. It works with whiskey. It works with whiskey. He says, whiskey and tea. Oh yeah, whiskey. The Beyonce song. Well, you know from the Beyonce song. He, he ate a iguana empanada <laughs> in the Cayman Islands. So he will try anything. Oh, yeah. He will. Um, ooh, chocolate. Um, oh, Willie's Cacao. I love this stuff. I had the recipe book and I don't know where it's gone. 
Um, Willie is a guy who, um, if you haven't heard of him, uh, loves chocolate. He's a, like a, a chocolatier and opened his own chocolate plantation or something somewhere, Venezuela or somewhere. Oh, this is Venezuelan Willie's Cacao. Um, sea flakes, milk chocolate with sea salt. Might have to hide that. You can hear me though, so I okay. probably can't. <laughs> uh, real handful festive edition brandy cream peanuts. So you've got extra snacks actually. There's a cup, you only normally get two or three at the most in the books. Christmas pudding minus popcorn. That might be quite nice. Although I'm not bothered about Christmas pudding. I like the flavour, but I don't like the texture. Um, oh, Corsten Press Sparkling Orange. Very nice. I do like Corsten Press. Oh, the light's shining. Corsten Press. Um, that's probably for a drink. It will be a recipe. Let's see. Ooh. And Oh, there's all the leaflets inside. There's the magazine. So we've got a gravely festive fair gin. Oh, it looks different. Oh no, it doesn't. It's just the label. So we get some garnishes. We've got orange and star anise. And oh, what's that? Oh, look, a tiny little bottle of cocoa bitters. Have we, have we had cocoa bitters before, Steve? Uh, just no. Angostura normally. Yeah, I've heard there's lots of different kinds. I've He's around the corner <laughs> working on his laptop. That's why I'm just shouting around to him. Um, he's on his lunch break, but he's doing so. He's doing something different. Um, what's he doing? Advent of Code. It's like a coding challenge for Advent that he's doing. Um, Merry Mimosa cocktail syrup. So you will be able to make a cocktail. And oh, what are the tonics? London Winter Tonic. It's the Artisan Drinks Company. Uh, there's three of those. Tia Maria Natural Matcha Oh, Tia Maria Matcha Cream Matcha Extract Oh, that's different And the gin is Graveney Festive Fair Gin From Tooting in London South London Spirit There we go Wow oh, it's, it's a quite festive bottle, isn't it? So that's quite nice, that's quite fun, and we'll be able to have some cocktails, and you can see them on the camera, right? And some drinks. Let me see if I can adjust this so you can see properly. And I think it was 42, because the price has gone up a little bit. But this was probably worth that, and then, at retail, and then these ooh, bits and bobs are extra. There we go. I don't know why I'm like arranging it all artfully <laughs> on the camera. And then the little magazine tells you um, how to mix the cocktails and what um, extras you need and what things to put in. Ooh. Is that a free Christmas card? So we're giving the sales donated five. Oh yeah, I've got a free Christmas card to give out with a bottle of gin on it. Oh well, I'm sure I'll find gin, jingle all the way. I'm sure I'll find somebody to uh, give that to who likes gin. A, a gin credible treat for craft gin club members. Get in the spirit, open me. Ooh, five pounds off. Oh, five pounds off from Whistle, Whistlefish, which is where this card came from. There's always um, a Naked Wine. We already have a Naked Wine subscription. I love them. They're really good. If you like wine, it's definitely worth it. Um, it's like the £75 off voucher. And then, yeah, 
and then the magazine and you can buy all this stuff individually but I think that's the last one that we'll get now I think I'll cancel it for a little while um, just because it's expensive and we go to Costco and if we want some we can we can buy gin there it's nice it's a nice little delivery it's nice to get the little delivery and get the treats and to see what's in it and it's very festive so it's a, like a little treat for Christmas but um I think this might be our last one so there we go so that's just arrived so I'm going to put these few things away and make a put the little syrups on our little cocktail actually it needs a dust I'm going to dust the cocktail table and put these on there and then um we will make some candles and uh, refill my um I was going to say candle containers candle containers have got all of my empty containers that I um, have washed out that had candles in them. This one was from, might be b and I'm not sure. These are just from Ikea, little ones, the little tiny ones that you get from Ikea. And this one is a specific candle container that I bought. I bought them all from Candle Shack, I think. I will leave a link to everything below so you can go and have a look if it's something you fancy to do yourself, fancy doing yourself. Um, I went on a candle making workshop one day and I loved it. So this is, I just thought I'm going to just do it myself. I've also got a um, porridge, ah there's my jug, I've been, I've had to hunting the house high and low for this. Never mind. <laughs> this is a porridge pan. But it's just like a bain marie. So if you don't have one of these, which you probably don't unless you've bought it specifically, just use a pan with a bowl on top, as you would melt chocolate and melt your wax in a bowl. And you need a jug, which I thought I'd lost. I've got a plastic one out, which I don't need. I've got my little metal jug that I like to use. This is for measuring out um, essential oils if I want a candle that smells nice. These, you don't need these, these are for, um, these are for keeping your wick steady when you are pouring your candle. It's mostly only for bigger candles and you, um, that one's dirty, steam that jug. You just pop it on top and then you secure your wick inside this little ridge when it's on there just while the candle is curing to keep the wick centered. Of course you don't have to have a centered wick, you can have an off center wick but obviously you candle is going to tunnel down the side of the container. You need some wicks and these have just got a little metal end on them and they are wax coated wicks and I just secure the wick to the bottom of the container. Oh you can't see that. To the bottom of the container in the middle with my glue gun. Just a very cheap glue gun from Amazon. I've had it for years. You need a thermometer to make sure that you're wet melting your candle, your wax to the right temperature some sort of spoon to stir your wax if you're adding a, um, a fragrance or an essential oil. Some wax. This is coconut and rapeseed and this is soy and rapeseed mixture. So you can buy either size, either size that you want. We're going to use the rapeseed one today. And you need a per 30 cl container which is about this size. About your average size candle, so you know, like your Joe Malone's, they're this size, the regular ones. And um, you need 220 grams of wax, and don't use any more than 22 grams of essential oils in here. And that is an awful lot of essential oil if you're going to put essential oils in. And the most of the essential oils come in tiny little bottles. So I don't know if I might I might do an orangey one if I've got an orangey one I'll have a little look. Um, but I would say about 12 grams is more than enough. You don't need 22. Um, so clean your containers out with some rubbing alcohol if you can find it or have any. I can't find mine, so I'm going to give them a wipe out. Make sure there's no dust inside. Then we're going to melt the wax. We're going to put hot water in here and just let that not boil but simmer quite quickly and put the wax in there 
let that melt with my thermometer in there and it needs to come to, I can't remember the temperature, let me check, let me, in my potions book, because this is a potion obviously, did anybody spot the Harry Potter socks I had on yesterday? <laughs> Such a nerd. Um, you need to heat it, preheat your container if you can. I just like to put hot water in them to heat them and then pull the hot water out and dry it. And heat your wax to 75 degrees. So on your thermometer, 75 degrees Celsius that is. So what's that in Fahrenheit? If you are not in the UK, you won't use Fahrenheit. Uh, 170 degrees Fahrenheit or 75 degrees Celsius um, and then uh, add your oil once it hits the 75 mix it quickly for about 10 seconds and then you pour it into your container so I'm going to shift all of this melt some wax and we'll make some candles There we go, there are my candles all waiting. It's not a professional operation, I'm using chopsticks to keep my uh, wicks straight because I don't have enough of those little wadging the columns. Um, and I didn't calculate enough wax for that one. So yeah, definitely uh, um, half a job. But I'll just do it when I get back. I've got to go and get the children from school. That took me 20 minutes from start to finish, sort it all out. In there I've put a little bit of sweet orange oil, some cinnamon and a tiny little bit of clove. But hopefully it might smell a little bit Christmassy. So I'm just going to go and get the kids and then I'm going to come back and finish that candle, tidy up and give the floors a wash I think after they come in with their wet shoes because it's pouring outside. The children are in bed. It has been quite a long evening. Eris is complaining of her ear hurting again, so we're going to take her to the doctor's tomorrow. She's had some uh, carpal and or paracetamol and she's asleep now. It's taken an hour, so I'm very tired. I'm trying to write my shopping list for Costco. I'm going on Thursday, so that'll be quite exciting with Steve's mum, who called in um, after work for a cup of tea, so we've seen her this evening. Um, for a little catch up which is lovely. Um, it's not a lot been going on actually so Carol came in, we saw Carol, the children were very excited to see Nana and uh, making tea. Oh uh, my candles are curing. Let me see, let me show you. So look, can you see? It's quite dark. Let me see if I can make this lighter. A little bit, not much. Let's bring you this way. Bring you this way. Is that better? A little bit. So my candles are curing. Can you see them on the windowsill? It's cool here. So um, I just finished off the black one that I didn't have quite enough wax for. It took two minutes when I got back from school. And so what I'll do is I'll leave these for um, probably two days and then I'll use them. I think they'll be fine. So when you look it up and some places say you can use them after uh, 24 hours and some say you should leave it a week but I'm going to use them and I'm not selling them they're not for other people so I'm going to use them and then I'm going to um, just refill them again so I mean I wouldn't do these little ones if it wasn't uh, um, I'd already bought them I wouldn't buy those tiny little pots because it's fiddly unless I was doing loads so now that the almost curing and that's finished quite nicely actually there's a little bit of movement next to the wax but I'm not too bothered like I say it's not for to sell it doesn't look like there's any air bubbles in which is quite good let me see same with that one it's where I've moved the wick and it's just moved there we go it looks quite good and it's just cheaper 
and going out and paying six, seven pounds for a candle or 10, 20, 30 pounds or some of them are. I have never paid that much for a candle. Um, oh, this light is terrible. Is that better? There we go. I don't know why. Maybe it was better before. So I've got our leftover cauliflower cheese soup cooking. We're going to have that. <coughs> Excuse me. And get some better light. Uh, it's just night time. And I'm, I can't be bothered to get the ring light out, to be honest. I just can't be bothered. I was going to uh, wrap gifts tomorrow. I have to be careful in case you've got little people listening. Um, the children still need to write their letters to Santa. They haven't done that yet. Um, but if I can't, I can't. Aries has to come first, obviously. So I'll take it to the doctors. I mean, she's fine in herself. She just keeps saying, I can't hear you, I can't hear you, my ear is hurting. So, so if we can get some antibiotics, if she's got an ear infection, we'll get straight into it and she'll be fine. And I think that's all. I'm having a can of Rio. I love this stuff. If you like tropical drinks, tropical flavour, and you like something a little bit fizzy, um, it's really nice. It's light tropical and there's like no sugar in it, no calories. It's brilliant, really tasty. So yeah, I'm just going to whiz that soup up and um, I'm going to sit down with Steve. Well, I'm going to edit this video tomorrow, I think, because it's not very long, so it won't take very long. Um, <clears throat> I've got a pain on the back of my head. C so he says it's sinus related, but it feels like I've bumped it. Do you ever do that? Do you, <laughs> do you, walking into door handles, I uh, walk into door handles and a bruise will appear, I'll be like, why does my arm hurt? But I feel like I've bumped my head and I can't remember it because it's really sore. But anyway, I'm rambling now. Oh, have you seen the... It's on my Instagram, uh, at Kerry Jervis Cooks. I popped it onto my stories. Will it still be there? Yes, it's probably still there as I um, uh, upload this tomorrow because it was lunchtime today. I saw it. Um, the alternative to a Christmas advert. That's some... Um, uh, I don't know if they're film students but in West Yorkshire, made, and I cried. It's very sad, and it's, um, yeah, it's very sad. Get a tissue if you watch it. It's just, you can probably Google it and you'll probably find it, but never mind. So we've, yeah, so that was today. It's just been a, just been a, a quite a quiet Monday, just um, tidying up, getting bits of bobs done, making tea, looking after the children. I sorted the candles out. Um, rearranged my Christmas tree, which looks exactly the same, but it's just now I'm not going to sit on the sofa and go, short wonky, there's something not right about it. When you, just, you can just see it out the corner of your eye and it's driving you crazy. Um, but yes, uh, so if I can't do wrapping tomorrow, I will, um, I don't know what I'll do. It's a surprise to both uh, you and me, anyway. But. Thank you for watching. I will be quiet now and let you get on with your day or whatever else you, you were doing before I rudely interrupted you with a video. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.